Lots of big news this week. A Mississippi man accused of sending toxic letters to the president, a Mississippi senator, and a state court judge faced a judge today. Lawyers argued over whether Kevin Curtis should stay in jail or go home, and they're still debating. WREG's Elise Preston caught up with Curtis's family as they left the courthouse in Oxford tonight. Kevin Curtis's family walked out of the federal courthouse Friday convinced he didn't send letters filled with the deadly poison ricin to lawmakers. I'm not my dad. I wasn't there. I wasn't there with whoever sent the letters, but I have faith in my dad. Um, and I don't think, I've never heard him even talk about doing something like this. The U.S. government believes he did at the bottom of a threatening letter whoever sent it signed, I'm Casey and I approve this message. Investigators started out with a list of about a thousand people who could have signed the letter KC, then pinpointed the Elvis impersonator after Googling parts of the letter, the lines that matched his Facebook posts. If you're going to send something and put your initials in there and put your quote that you put on everything and put the quote, I approve this message, that sounds like you're saying, come get me. Here I am. I'm your man. He's not that stupid. During the hearing, federal investigators searched Curtis's Corinth home for anything linking him to making ricin. Curtis's brother, Paul, says the father of four may be opinionated, but would never do anything to physically harm politicians. I have told him, quit getting on your email, quit emailing all this stuff. Just, you know, I've told him that stuff. He believes so strongly that he has the right. U.S. attorneys painted Curtis as mentally disturbed and violent. He is not crazy. We've had family feuds, but I don't know who has it. But Madison stands by her dad and his innocence. In Oxford, Elise Preston, WREG News Channel 3. The hearing continues Monday. By then, we should know if investigators found anything in Curtis's home.